Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Software Basics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a transparent signature image. So for us to get to this stage, the first step is to just get a blank sheet of paper and basically sign it a couple of times. Try to leave enough space between them, as you can see here on the rows they're pretty spaced out and then the column is pretty spaced out and you can just leave a little marker indicating which ones that you'd like to crop out so you can see i have a little marker there that shows i want this one and this one now once you have your signatures all signed up on the paper the next thing you need to do is get it onto your computer now the best way to do it for me personally is scanning it directly from my printer and to my computer Alternatively, you could use your smartphone or any other camera and just take a picture. Now for me, I'm going to go with the scanning approach. So I do have my printer's scanner here. And if you're using this and your printer is fairly similar to mine, the first thing is I'd recommend you scan to a document. So in a PDF format. Again, alternatively, you could use JPEG, which would be a picture format. Now do make sure you set the DPI to something between 300 and above. Uh, do bear in mind the higher you set your DPI, the bigger the file size will be. Basically the higher your DPI, the better the scanning quality. So once you have that done, the next thing to do is just open up Photoshop. Now normally when you open up Photoshop CC, it's on the welcome section. And all you have to do is drag your file over. So in my case, I'm dragging the PDF. And even though this is a PDF file, it'll still come up as an image. So next, we need to go to the crop tool on the left hand side, or you can just simply press C on your keyboard and this will select the crop tool. Now try to get this as tight as you can from the beginning. Now once you have your cropping selected, just double click anywhere within the crop section. And you can see this opens up in a fit and canvas to the crop that we made. And then next we need to select our magic wand tool, which is over here, or we can press W on the keyboard. If you don't have the magic wand tool and you have the quick selector tool, what you can do is right click and then select magic wand tool. And then we just click anywhere on the canvas away from the signature. It should automatically select your signature and the background itself. And then go up to your menu bar and click on select and then click on inverse or you can just simply do a shift control and i and you can see now it's only selecting the signature so what you can do now is copy this so control c and then we'll open up a new document so you can go to file new or you can do a control n and then make sure you select the clipboard so this will basically set the canvas to the height and width of our copy if you do have this option, do select transparent, but I'll leave it as it is and then I'll go to create. And then what you need to do is just do a control V and then just control V to paste the signature. And what we can do now is head over to the right hand side and just hide the background. You can see there's still some extra bits left. So what we can do is take our magic wand tool again, select this and press delete and select this one, press delete, and even in here as well, and then delete. Anywhere that you have any little gaps, just kind of use the magic wand tool to uh, delete them. So if you still have any little stragglers that are still on your signature, which you don't want, for example, these little dots that were just uh, ink splashes when I signed in this. So first things first, just put the background back in place uh, just so we can see where all these little redundant parts are in. And then we can select the eraser tool. So you can do an E on your keyboard. Do make sure it's the eraser tool and not the background or magic eraser tool. And we'll select that. And you can see we'll just erase this here and here. Just basically go over any you'd like to erase. So that looks perfect now. And what we can do is turn off the background. And you can see those little dots are gone. So now we're ready to save this. And you can go up to File and go to Save As, or you can do a Control Shift S. 
and then just make sure you select PNG because this is what's going to actually make it look transparent on any background you put it on. I normally go with large file size just to make the quality a little bit better and then hit OK. So now let's take a look at this. So desktop and signature. You can see this is a signature here and it's still showing a white background. But let me just show you what this looks like here on Photoshop. You can see it shows up on this background. Now you can see we still have some little white bits there from the other background and you can just use the eraser tool. You can set your brush size to something smaller, so like one pixel or something. And then just we'll zoom in here and then just simply go over it like this. So you can do that with the eraser tool for all these little spots. Obviously you'd have to be uh, very meticulous about this to make it look perfect. So yeah, that pretty much concludes everything and I hope this video did help you out. If you have any questions at all, do leave it in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.